What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Morris County. Are you considering a move to Morristown or Morris Township? You're getting confused between the two? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain the similarities and the differences between the two towns. I think it's time to strap on those bicycles again to see which ones comes out on top. That's up for you to decide, but now it's time to go. My name is Kevin Salm and each week I bring you videos about moving to or around Morris County and the surrounding areas. So if that's why you came here today, make sure you give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to this channel to make sure that you don't miss any of the content that I'm dropping each and every week. I'm also a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey and as much as I like making these videos, I would like even more to help you with those real estate needs. So that number that's popping up below, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text and I cannot wait to help you buy or sell your next home. First things first, I'm going to start with a little geographic layout of the difference between Morristown and Morris Township. Essentially, Morris Township is a large donut that surrounds the donut hole that is Morristown. I'm going to start off today's video with all the similarities that these two towns share. First one being a zip code. So the zip code is 07960 and even if you live in Morris Township, you're going to have a Morristown mailing address. Uh, with one exception and that's compensation section of Morris Township. And they should have their own little post office and that's 07961. Another similarity that these two towns share is a pretty big one, and that's the school district. So all the kids from both of these towns go to Morristown High School, Freeling High is a middle school, and there's seven elementary schools uh, that share between the two towns. There's also a free pre-K program for qualified applicants. Another thing that these two towns share are sports recreation programs. Now, judging by the two websites of the municipalities, it seems that Morris Township kind of runs the show when it comes to the sports recreation. Another similarity is that they both have train stations. So there's the Morristown train station and then uh, Common Station also has a train station. And that's technically in Morris Township. Uh, me personally, if I'm gonna be taking the train into New York City, I prefer to take compensation only because there's a bigger parking lot, never have to like worry about finding a parking spot. It's a little bit closer to New York City technically, so it's one stop closer. But that, that's generally my preference. But either way, if you live in Morristown, obviously it's way easier just to walk from your house to the train station, which is an option there. If you live in Morris Township, not really always an option. It is an option for a select few neighborhoods, the compensation neighborhood, but overall, it's probably easier to walk to the Morristown station, but easier to commute to the common station station. And that's really where the similarities end. Uh, the first difference I'm gonna talk about is the nightlife. And if you compare Morristown to really any other town in Morris County, there is no comparison when it comes to nightlife. They've got all the bars, all the restaurants, they got the Impact Theater, which has Dancing with the Stars coming. There's the Top Golf Suite at 1776. Some of our favorite restaurants are South and Pine, Sterling Tavern. Uh, we used to go to the Laundromat Bar when we lived there. And funny story, when they first built the Laundromat Bar, it's on the same street that we lived on and we didn't have a, a washer dryer for our clothes. So I, I'm on my way home, I pass this place that looks literally looks like a laundry mat. It's like a speakeasy. So when you walk in, it looks like a laundry mat. So I come home and I'm like all excited to tell uh, Lauren, I'm like, oh, guess what? They're building a laundry mat right down the street. It'll be perfect. We can bring our clothes. And she's like, Kevin, it's a bar. I'm like, oh. So I would have literally came with my sack of clothes to start doing some laundry had she not told me that. Uh, but anyway, when it comes to the nightlife in Morris Township, you know, there really isn't anything going on. You got tips, ale house, a few pizzerias, but the positive side is that you're only 10 minutes or less away from all the fun that's happening in Morristown. The styles of homes also differ between Morristown and Morris Township. In Morristown, you have a lot of these big old mansions, uh, condos, and apartments, and there are some traditional single family homes scattered throughout as well. Morris Township, generally the homes are bigger and they sit on larger plots of land, but I definitely recommend checking out my Morristown and Morris Township uh, neighborhood guides to give you a more in-depth look at these neighborhoods and the houses. Uh, that brings me to my next difference, and that's the median price point. For 2022, Morristown's median home price was $612,000, whereas Morris Township was $753,000. Morristown actually does have higher taxes, almost a full point higher in their tax rate, and but either way, you can pretty much bet that you're gonna pay $10,000 or more in your annual taxes, no matter which town that you're in. And that obviously depends on what your house is appraised for and, and et cetera, so a lot goes into that, but in general, the average tax bill for either town is $10,000 or more. Come on, you knew I couldn't get through a video without talking about the Parks and Rec. 
Well, the difference between Morristown's Parks and Rec and Morris Townships is that Morristown really only has two parks, and that's Burnham Park and Lodgewood Park. Both of your pretty standard parks in my book. They got a playground, some playing fields. Burn Park does have a pond you can fish in, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but in general, uh, Morris Township definitely wins out when it comes to the parks because they've got Jockey Hollow with all the hiking trails. And uh, if you're a trail runner, this is a great place to get your workouts in. It's also scattered with history, so you might learn a thing or two while you're out there. Then you've got Lewis Morris Park with all the mountain biking trails and hiking trails. And Central Park of Morris County with all the turf fields, Frisbee Golf, Dog Park, Cross Country Course, Roller Rink, you, you name it, they got it. It's like the sports mecca of Morris Township. And uh, the last thing I'll say about the difference between the two rec programs is that each town does have its own town pool. Morris Town's got Burnham Pool. And I think that's only open to Morristown residents from what I could see online. And Morris Township has a Streeter and Ginty pool. And this pool program actually opens it up to residents outside of Morristown and Morris Township. So uh, us being Randolph residents, we're actually members of this pool program because it's not far from our house. And uh, really great pool uh, program. And they also have pickleball courts at Ginty Pool. And every time I drive by there, there's always people packed on the pickleball court. So definitely a popular recreation option as well for you in Morris Township. But what I will say to finish out this video is that the great thing about Morristown is that you have the best of both of these worlds. You have this kind of urban downtown feel and you might think that you are in Hoboken at some point in time, but you got all the bars, the restaurants, but you also have access to the great hiking trails and you can feel like you're out in the wilderness in a five minute drive. So if you wanna explore the area a little bit more, I just wanna remind you, I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of New Jersey. As much as I like making these videos, I like even more to help you with those real estate needs. So that number that's popping up below, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text and I cannot wait to help you out. Till next time guys, hope you enjoyed.